This is Twit. So we've talked a little bit about Magic Leap, startup, giant piles of money, augmented reality, and what they posted uh, earlier today uh, is a video. The, the example we have is off of TechCrunch.com, um, where they're essentially playing a virtual reality game in an office in real time, assuming the video is real. Um, I don't know if you can hit play on that video. Uh, quote, the interface, says TechCrunch, which includes non-game interaction, then a short demo of an in-office virtual shooter experience was created in tandem with Weta Workshop. You might know them, of course, uh, for little things like uh, The Lord of the Rings. So this is... I mean, it looks really cool. I just hope yeah. that that's actually it, you know? Yeah. Like, that's, I mean, that's... I mean, this is, you know, you can hear, you know, uh, yep. Tony, <laughs> we're approaching maximum vector. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, now, this the guns is a, are actual props, like because yeah, he's holding it. In physical his hand, props. Right? But yeah. to, to put this into perspective, like Magic Leap, which you know nobody really knew about uh, uh, until kind of late in 2014, is like I had 542 million dollars as of November in in funds that they have raised. Um, you know, so think of this as being like Google Glass, but much more amazing. Um, I, I would, I would so destroy the office trying to play that. Yeah. Like, well, apparently there's like fiber optic projectors in the headset, uh, lenses, cameras. Um, it's yeah. pretty interesting. Um, That's where all this stuff's yeah. going. I mean, it's just well, a matter it, of time. Well, it's just, it's kind of like the, it, it's interesting because there's this, it, this seems to me, this is really compelling because, you know, watching people completely lose their minds over Microsoft's augmented reality technology. Um, I can't remember what game they, they showed like in the living room. It was all Minecraft, Minecraft. I guess, all over the living yeah. room. Um, you know, and, you know, you know, they had like the big giant looks like they ripped them off of a, a crash helmet for an aviator of, of a fighter pilot kind of goggles, which everybody I know that has had on actually found really pleasant. And Magic Leap's trying to take that to the next level. But I'm really I, I really want to see, um, you know, where they come from. Yeah. Um, you know, apparently Magic Leap was originally supposed to be doing stuff for feature films, had a loose relationship with Weta. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of curious to see, you know, what this turns out to be because there's still not a lot known about them. 